sheep and godly gaming equipment, check out Gambius in the description. Clearly I wasn't talking to you, big titties. Hey guys, it's the T Laxify back. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys the top five zombie grenades in the Call of Duty Zombie Sega. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be using my lovely face in this video. I got these new headsets right here from Gandius. I got a new sponsor script from them. I also got this cool mouse, sick mouse mat, and a bunch of other stuff. And speaking of Gandia's sponsorship, you guys will be entered in for a giveaway to actually win a product that they've chosen or that I've chosen to give out to you guys. So I will be having a giveaway video tomorrow. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. So guys, coming down to the number five spot, this is going to be the Semtex. Now, if you're wondering why it's the Semtex and it's not the grenade, the Semtex you have to actually buy off the wall. And this is the funny part because with the Semtex, it's actually cheaper. It's cheaper than the regular grenade that you get on these zombies maps. And I don't know why you have to buy it. It's just so stupid. And yeah, that's the Semtex for you guys. It's weaker. It doesn't make crawlers as efficiently as the regular grenades so that is why I believe it deserves the number five spot so now guys going down to the number four spot this is going to be the grenade just the regular grenade that I just said the grenade you can hold up to four of them they're absolutely amazing for making crawlers after round four and they're just really really good for you guys they are very useful but after about round 20 or 30 they're not really that useful I guess you can use it as a way to gain some points but it's just not going to use any damage it's not going to do anything with the zombies it's not going to make crawlers anymore because they're too strong not guys it's going to be our number four spot now guys going down to the number three or the number three spot this is going to be the Metroidola, the Metroidola, the Metroidola, the Metro, <laughs> the Metroidola dolls. Okay, so it's gonna be the Metroidola dolls. So that guys, the Metroidola dolls. If you guys do not know what that is, they're essentially the dolls that were first introduced into Call of Duty Black Ops One's Ascension map pack. And what you would do is you throw them, and they'd be like a little doll that pop out. And if you guys aren't Ukrainian or anything like I am or any Slavic region, they're very common in that sort of thing and that is sort of blah. It's sort of really just made for Nikolai in that sense. And with Nikolai, it just kind of throws it out and sometimes you can hear these little voices on them. It's really funny. They pop out and they pop out and they pop out. They keep going and they keep exploding. It's a great doll. It's very fun, but it's only on that map and a couple and I think Call of the Dead as well. But other than that, I guess it's okay, but it's eh, it's not that great. And for guys going down to the number two spot, this is going to be the time bomb. Now why I put the time bomb here is because the time bomb can be very useful. It's only available on Call of Duty Black Ops 2 DLC 3 map pack buried. And with this third map pack, I just believe that Buried needed the Time Bomb, needed to be more diverse than the other maps. But with the Time Bomb, it can be a huge, huge trolling grenade. Some people use it on, I saw a video of some guy getting to round 100 using it and he goes all the way back to round 1. And that guy is a huge waste of time, if you know what I mean. But anyways guys, going down to the dishonorable mention we have, we don't have any honorable mentions today. The dishonorable mention we have is going to be hilarious guys. This is going to be the EMP grenade, and guess what guys, this is available on the shittiest map on Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies, this is Transit, Transit guys, Transit, that is it, Transit is just, thank you Jesus, oh my goodness, get that thing away from me, but you know what guys, EMP grenade was brought up to Transit, Transit is known for bringing many infamously horrible stuff into the Call of Duty Zombies games, such as buildables, but they nailed it better in the later DLC maps from Black Ops 2 Zombies, but that's all good. Anyways, with the EMP grenade, literally it was just used for trolling. The monkey bombs were even better than that, guys, and I just believe that the EMP grenade definitely deserves to be, like, the dishonorable mention. It doesn't deserve a spot on this list at all. It'd be the last spot. Now, guys, going down to the numero uno, numero uno, the number one spot, this is going to be a tie and you're gonna be like what a tie but yes guys this is going to be a tie between the monkey bomb and the Gersh device now with the monkey bomb it's a very good good great awesome bomb it's a bomb that you throw the monkey bomb jumps around claps his symbols and then he blows up and you know what guys the monkey is great at all but the Gersh device is great as well you throw it it's like a little portal and you can jump into it and go into different parts of the map 
the thing I wanted to say is because I put them at a tie, the reason why I did that is because I just love them both. There's nothing really that separable between them. The monkey bombs have been around a lot longer though, that is one thing. And the Gersh device I don't think ever appears in Black Ops 2 zombies at all, which is really bad. I don't know why they decided to keep it just on Black Ops 1. But anyways guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to slap a like, slap that like on that video so i do hope you guys enjoy this video let's see if we can hit 3500 likes for this video thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> what <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you right guys later